Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. It is I, God Empress Jesse Milestone, and today we are going to talk about the fan fiction written about Ivan Ortega and me, Jesse Milestone. Uh, yes, it exists, and it is written by none, of the, the, uh, none other than Becky Embers. Uh, if you follow this channel often, you'll know that uh, this is the third time, third time, I'm doing a video on one of Becky's stories. And um, I've discovered through this one more than all the others, uh, she's just really good. Like, she is good at what she does. Um, and I mean, I mean, as a writer, not just a, not just a smut writer. I mean, she's a good smut writer, which is hard, by the way. I never ever sat down to try to like, casually pen a smut story. It is really difficult to find ways to refer to people's private parts that don't sound ridiculous. Um, she does a pretty good job of that and, 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 and ties things in really, really nicely. Um, she does, I started talking about her from her Star Wars erotica and I thought she really captured the tone of the pieces and really got the characters and that. And I still maintain that. But this is this is something else. I mean, this woman is just very intuitive. She's like a, she's a good writer. Right? She writes in complete sentences. If you read a lot of fan fiction, just that alone is rare. Um, she writes well. She writes adds the right kind of detail, the good stories in there. Like if she wanted to write full length novels, but I think she has. I think she has books. So like you should buy them. Is what I'm saying. Is I'm pretty sure she's written like full length erotic novels and. They're probably very readable because she clearly understands how to structure story and write in the English language uh, better than a lot of people. Um, very, very impressively for a smart writer. Um, for a writer, period. For a smart writer, especially. So so here's the deal, right? Uh, why did this happen? Why did she write a fan fiction story about me and Ivan Ortega? So in case you don't know, uh, Ivan and I are engaged, which you can see on our live stream. I'm getting married back in St. Louis. I live streamed about our engagement. It's very exciting. And somewhere in the course of that live stream, Becky Embers was on and I said, knowing full well that she could not resist such a tempting offer, I said she should write a story about us. She should write a fan fiction story about us. I, I definitely, heavily, heartily encouraged her, and she was on board right away. So uh, here, only a few short weeks later, she has done it. She has made it happen, uh, which I think is something she wanted to do anyway. I'm sure it's something she wanted to do anyway. And my God, it is brilliant. Now, I will tell you, and I offered, I was like, if you're going to write this, I'll send you... Any info, details, whatever things you want to know. She didn't ask for anything, right? So all she knows about me and about Ivan is what's publicly available in our videos and the the various exchanges. Becky and I are, are friends now. Like we've we've had other exchanges, um, but nothing like super. Here's my life and my inner thoughts and stuff like that, you know, and like how my brain works. Or I mean, obviously, I do enough of these videos that you can get a sense for how I talk and how my personality comes across. Ivan the same way, and especially through the live streams with us interacting. Right, so you can get a lot about that, uh, um, and she really did. I mean, she, like, it, it's weird. Um, just reading it, it's like, this This is a thing that could have happened. Now, it's all about, of course, how I apparently am harboring this deep secret about uh, that I'm secretly in love with Ivan, even though I have this real boyfriend. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's sort of the, the driving point of the story. So it's all about forbidden romance, which is the best kind of romance anyway. Uh, and I get my ass eaten out, which is great. Sorry, spoilers! He licks my butt! It's awesome in the stories. He's never done that in real life, so I, would, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But, uh... No, but it's so great, because it's like, once... I mean, as you get into this, into this erotic... Just, the, just the, the way she writes us. Like, the way she writes how we speak. She even has Ivan, like, speaking Spanish a little bit. Um, she's got... She, she really throws in, like, I don't know if she just knows stuff about cameras, or if she looked up stuff... But she throws in like some some filmmaking jargon, some editor jargon um, that I think is accurate, um, and it's just like it's a well devised, thought out piece, beginning, middle, end. It's it's funny at parts. It's charming. It's sexy. I it's sexy. Uh, I read this out loud to my actual boyfriend. That happened, and he thought it was good. And even became mildly aroused. Uh, so that's a true story. That's uh, some high praise right there. There, Becky, you can write a story about a woman with another man and have her boyfriend enjoy the story. That's pretty freaking good. Uh, put that one in your uh, praise for Becky Ember section because that's like, I don't, I don't see how it can get better than that. I don't see what, what bigger endorsement you need. So guys, if you like me and or Ivan Ortega, you have to check out this story. Of course, the link is below. You should subscribe to Becky Amber's channel. I don't know if she's done a read aloud from this one yet on her YouTube, uh, but she should. And you guys should tell her that 
So check out her YouTube channel, subscribe, because she might read aloud portions of this story. And it's always, she has a great voice for this. So, um, yeah, no, I just, like, I've read it. I've read it more than once now. <laughs> it's a really good story. It's a really good story. It just, again, like, tonally, it just captures the people involved. It's really, I don't know. You guys read it. Tell me what you think. Let me know what you think of this story. Um, it's, <laughs> it's weird. To be in a fan fiction, but cool. Also, my hair. Of course, my hair, you know, makes an appearance, so that's a thing. Anyway, you guys got to check this shit out. Uh, you guys got to. It's uh, it's in the link. It's on Becky Amber's website. Just see it. Just do it. That is that is all. Uh, also, if you, uh, I have uh, Mindless Entertainment has a business address now, so if you ever want to send things to me, um, you can send that to... Uh, 14320 Ventura Boulevard, Suite 163, Sherman Oaks, California, 91423. You can address that to Jesse Milestone or to Mindless Entertainment, whatever makes you happy. Um, definitely join my Patreon. There's cool stuff going on there all the time. Like, I'm about to put up the, uh, the full journey of my hike yesterday. Uh, I'll be putting up songs that I sing and other stuff like that. So, uh, that's coming your way if you're on my Patreon and more videos are happening in your life. See you.